just had a long flight, but I feel no jet lag. I feel terrible. Oh. <laughs> I find it very difficult to cope with any form of travel. I'm Yet you're weak. a travel man. It's unfortunate casting. Hello? Catherine, what's going on? Oh, hey, boss. I'm just uh, composing a short novel. OK, you need to stop that. We've got to go. I'll see you downstairs. Bye. Bye, yeah, bye. 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 It is exquisite. Oh, it's a triumph of the Art Deco style. A trip to the top of 30 Rock allows aboard a full ocular swoop of the city skyline. <gasps> Richard! Well, OK. Well, you know, yes, this is densely clustered. It is. Prince Charles would hate this. <laughs> Let's put this virus screen so that we can really drink this in. Yeah. This is going to tell us what we're looking at. What are we looking at? We're looking at the um, Empire State Building. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can go round. Oh, yeah. Cry to the building. I like that one. Do you that's like it? That's one of a my good faves. One. But you know, you can buy airspace around your building, preventing anyone else from building there and obstructing your views? I did not know that. It's the Met. Wow. Within the context of Manhattan, it kind of looks boutique, like a bungalow. Yeah. They haven't used the airspace wisely at all, considering the value of the real estate. The problem we face. 2 million exhibits, our time is limited. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. Off camera. Wait for me! In an effort to condense this mammoth museum, I've secured the services of an independent guide who insists he will make our visit subversive, interactive, fun and fast. We're going to fly through this museum. OK, good. We're going to blast it into our retina and move on. I love it. OK. Well, if we're going to do this, we've got to get this thing started, shall yes. we? Yes, let's get we it started. We have a little museum hack tradition that gets us going, because I know you want to move fast. Yes, I do. I need all hands in the center, please. We go down on Mu, and then up on Zium, and then we charge okay. into the Met. OK. This is quite I'm hack. nearly 40. You're nearly 40? OK. Well, you're going to have to keep up. OK. Squash it down, move museum. on. Museum! All right, okay. let's go. That must endear you to people. And so begins our slide across the surface of the Met's 17 acres of galleries. Arms and armor. I like that they give a little protection to the horses as well. This is Henry VIII. And this is? Before. OK. And after. So as he aged, he became less concerned about his groin, like many men. Let's move on. <laughs> Welcome to Washington crossing the Delaware. Whoa! And is this for sale? It's not for sale. Next, prehistoric and early Greek art. What do we got? We got this. All right. OK. Check this out. They think this may be a 6,000-year-old selfie. Commentators claim that the proportions of the sculpture mean the artist may have been looking at herself without a mirror. Ooh, yes, okay. you are looking at this from the wrong angle, I gentlemen. Know. And I okay. like that she has natural breasts. Yeah. Is this for sale? Unfortunately not. OK, let's move on. As night descends in typically sped up fashion, an onslaught of options self present. We could see one of Aprox 150 theatrical performances, or visit one of Aprox 1500 bars. Or combine these two seemingly disparate activities. I failed to book a Broadway show, so this is a cost effective alternative. OK. You're more than welcome. Of New York's many bars, only Marie's crisis persists in holding a show tune sing along round the piano every night. Right. Well, I think you're going to need one or seven yes. drinks. This is where all the introverts gather. How are you feeling so far? I'm okay. How are you? Introverted? Yeah. yeah, this is, this is, um, this is too community-spirited for me. We passively pootle to the piano, just as the throng throats one of Catherine's personal highlights from the musical Rent. I feel, because I, 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 I um, don't know that song, yeah. so I felt um, it was like being trapped. <laughs> uh, it's, it's being trapped. In a good way? In a, in a very one-sided conversation. <laughs> Do you guys want to sing another song? I mean, no, but I imagine... <laughs> Um, I imagine this going to uh, do a, a Whether song. Whether you like it or not. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> pretty much. Little shop, little shop, my heart has little shop, little shop. 
Unable to cope with this public expression of joy, I ripcord this flipper. I'm getting leakage. Yeah, me too. There's stuff inside here that I did not expect. Wow. Well, I think I've just developed diabetes. I think there's more sugar than bread, and so I place it in the in the Haribo family. Right. I really like all the wetness of it, all the cream and sauce. I can eat this, and then I can lie down. <laughs> let my blood adjust <laughs> while these tiny diabetic birds flap around me and try and take <laughs> bits of sugar from the corners of my mouth. <laughs> this is great. This is the most sugar you've ever had in your life. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm going to put this back up. OK. My hands are shaking. OK, let's go. Let's walk this. I need a second. I'm dipping. I'm dipping. I'm just gonna pull you. Oh, you're a natural. Look at you. <laughs> I feel like a retired Dalek. Now put your hands forward on your knees and roll. This is a deleted scene from Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine shows herself to be a classic ringer. That's it. Whereas I develop instant osteoporosis. Now, when you come back next time... Sure. We're gonna go on a much, I'll go on for... a much more extensive tour. We can cover all the acres on skates. But we do manage a creditable creep round the park, taking in the band shell used as a location in the film Breakfast at Tiffany's. Hands forward, grab your finger oh. up. And the Bethesda Terrace, which you'll recognise from Stuart Little too. Wow, this is not my natural habitat. We finish at the Cherry Hill Fountain, which many mistakenly think is the fountain at the start of Friends. Well, thank goodness. That was, uh, that was something. Opened in 2012, the museum is housed in a goods elevator, which this afternoon has reached the temperature of fresh lava. My glasses are slipping off my nose. When they say the museum challenges you to find meaning in objects from around the world, which have been overlooked, dismissed or ignored, and they actually say this in this condescending sign, they're not joking about it being a challenge. Exhibits include different kinds of cornflakes and things left by illegal immigrants crossing into America. These are good, these Trump accessories. The Trump energy drink. He has an energy drink? I actually own the art of the comeback myself, but in paperback. How is it? It's heavy going. Okay. It's heavy going. Maybe you wrote it on the energy drink. Yeah. Above the Trump collection are cookies displaying major events of 2015, including the VW emission scandal and edible instances of the refugee crisis. There is also an audio guide, God help us, to unlock the complex imagery. Would you like to listen to the audio recording? I'd like my head to cool down. That's <laughs> what I'd like. It's very hot. I tell you what the story of this, this incredible melting man, that's what the story is right here. I'm not even incredible. It's like the, the slightly bemused melting man. I want you to be comfortable. That's why I'm here. That's what friendship is. This is hell. This is hell in here. <laughs> I'm in a lift on my phone looking at weird... I mean, this is hell. Do you want me to enter another reference number? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm very hot. I'm sorry, it? I apologise. It's not your fault. You didn't design this. No, she didn't. You're just out of work. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm going to leave. This has been something. It really has. It's so great. Thank you so thank much. You for thank you for coming to the museum. We had a really great time. Helsinki is a brisk three-hour flight from London, but Paul, who for some reason had business in L.A., has been airborne for over 17 hours. That's, hey, that's you. That's me. This is the face that goes with... Hi, Paul. Oh, good, Paul. Yeah, great to... You're uh... the actor one. Yeah. Okay, and that's, good. That's Just one question. Yes. Um, why did you make me fly 6,000 miles to Helsinki? <sighs> 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 Come on. The end. We've got to discover the city. I feel like I already have. This must be impressive for a man from Manhattan to be 70 metres high. It's blowing just, your mind. Just this is impressive. This to is. me, and it has nothing to do with height or where I'm from. The problem is, is that the men's toilets um, just doesn't, it's not on the corner. That is a problem. That's why you've got to come into the ladies' toilets and lock down. Really? You probably need another guy out there on lookout. 
Yeah. I can't believe that people can't see in. I mean, I don't want to show you my wipe pose, but it's higher than this. You never really see too many kayak chases in films, do you? Not enough. You know, you've really got a handle on that Tsunami 145. I really liked the 142 for a long time. But I've got to say the 145, it's three better. Pretty good kayak. Yeah. I say we take out those paddle boarders. I've got beef with these people from way back. Go right in between them, Richard. Show them yeah. his boss. OK. They're coming, they're coming right at us. Someone's got to get out of the way, and it's not going to be me. What's in that one big cage? Is that Thunderdome? I think I see Tina Turner. Those paddle boarders were very smug. They're the Darth Vaders of the Baltic Sea. Always in couples. Yeah. Get a life. Yeah. Yeah. Buddy system. Paddle boarding. Sons of Yeah. I know you're always on the lookout for lean meats. Always. Always. Well. At least 23 hours of the day. You're in luck. Especially if you want a lean meat with double the B12 you're used to. B24. <laughs> it's too hot. It's, we have a phrase This here. is the same it's temperature as something that's burning. <laughs> I don't think you're doing yourself any favors by keeping the robe on, but I understand why. I can't. I don't want to give anyone watching this an erection. Well, too late. <laughs> I have no idea how deep the sea is. Just want to throw that in there. Well. It's really cold. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a sea. really cold. They just go in and out of pain. That's what the fins do. They go in the hot thing, in the cold thing. Back Three. in sauna. Yeah. That's a shame. It reminds me a little bit of puffy paint. What's that? It's a form of paint that you can put on a sweatshirt or like a okay. shirt and you can make designs. That sounds very 90s. Yeah. I don't think that reference has traveled, Paul. You can get it at places like Hobby Lobby. Oh, man. You know, That's sick the to end my, of days. I'm sick to my stomach even saying it on that note. It seems to me that it's eating burgers, drinking beer, and sitting in sauna uh, is, is uh, mm. in violation of several health codes. Yeah, but don't tell me that fry's not going down well. How's the burger? <laughs> you, you know, right? Probably not supposed oh. to do this, right? Can you let's see what that? happens. Mm. I stain the rocks. And now I can smell burning. We're going to be thrown out of here in about two minutes. To get thrown out of Burger King, that's low, isn't it? Yeah, that sucks. Oh, this looks like some prime eating over here. <laughs> this, is, this is a full-on salad bar. Annika and Arna are convinced of the benefits of eating weeds. And before we can invoke logic, we're gnawing on nettle. If you, if you hold on to the, to the stem, then it's not going to sting. So you can just try. So I take this up and then eat it? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. OK. Remember, you don't have... <laughs> oh, I feel... I feel... Oh, I see what you mean. No, it's... It stings in your mouth. Yeah. Maybe a little bit stinging. Yeah, no, it, it definitely stings in your mouth. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's called a stinging nettle. Yeah, that's... So let's go and look for fireweed. Fresh young fireweed. That's making uh, my mouth water. Wow. It has, like, these big, big leaves, big stem. You know what would go great with this? Um, a bag of nacho cheese Doritos. Mm. Oh, those things mm, are good. Why not? They also naturally occur in parts of Houston. Yeah. Yeah. You just pick them up off the road. Yeah, they're all over the place down there. Tell okay. me honestly, do I have fireweed in my teeth? No, 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 really. No, you're fine. It's really pretty. Well, it's a good really rule fast. to wash them before you eat them at home. Well, now, now thank you, thank you for telling me. us. We've been eating this <laughs> for like an hour. <laughs> And it's, it's, it's good for you. I also. knew you were meant to wash this stuff, all this foraging in the you world. You were right. It was one of this the first things you said. This should go in my salad spinner. So, um, we'll pay as one. OK, great. It's like he's lost his wallet. Mm -hmm. Is this... I didn't... Here's the thing. I didn't bring it. He doesn't even bring one. That's the kind of life this guy's leaving. Who's paying for dinner? Because I'm leaving. Mmm. I can see why that clears me this. Clears everything. You know, oh. I've got to say, I don't mind that. Really? I don't mind that. I, I, I understand edge. different countries have their own kind of tastes and candies, but this seems like an entirely different species would enjoy something like this. Mm. That's Where's, pretty good. Oh, God. Tubes are opening in me that have been closed since the 90s. Oh, good. God, it's like swallowing phlegm. I hate to press you for 
the moments you've enjoyed most. Because there's probably so many, just on the deck. Do it on the. No one's going to judge you here. Just give this me, is Helsinki. I just need a second before I can talk. You know, there were so many great moments. Thank you. I really enjoyed all the times that we sweat together. I liked the long drinks. I thought you they were like the long drinks. I put away a I couple of long drinks too much. Like you were trying to quench a fire. Yeah. Well, these have been powerful. We started in the toilet, and it was hard to top that, really. And I feel this trip may end in the toilet. Be honest, did you think this was going to be a film when you agreed? It's not? I've got bad news for you. This is it. Good morning. Hello. Can I have your passport, please? Yes. That's not my face, but don't That's let your... that worry you. <laughs> With a schedule as rammed as ours, we must blast fast through the firmament. And having used up my humorous passport material, there's nothing left to do but play with Adam's device. We're going to do the okay. face swap one. Okay. I look pretty good with your hair. What do you think of your face? I feel like I look like a courier. I've definitely come off best in this arrangement. Oh. Yeah. Darling. It's good like home. a fairy palace. This you must be a to... nightmare to heat. They've got a sweetie oh. jar. Hey. Yes, please. Exercise restraint. All right. So, oh. Hi. Has low blood sugar. Hi. Hey. hey. Nice Hello. to meet you. Okay. Welcome to Lisbon. Please. Yes. Can we check in? Of course. This is before sugar, by the way. All right. We've got two keys for the one room. Okay. No, you're staying in two rooms. Are they interconnecting? They are. What's the deal here? It's all tinned all fish. All tinned fish goods. I mean, this would be ideal in an apocalypse situation as well. With 150 different Latinias, a.k.a. cans, to choose from, we require the guiding rudder of Rodrigo, a man whose knowledge of tin fish rivals even mine. OK, this, so this is the abalone. This is a quite a rare product. How many tins of this do you guess a year? Uh, maybe five or six a year. Wow. Really? Yeah. It's just uh, the muscle is rare. This costs 55 euros. That's how rare Ooh, this is. Oh, that's expensive. Have you heard of lamprey? It's a blood-sucking fish. What Amazing. kind of blood does it suck? It's just bigger fishes. Wow. Rodrigo, in an act of unparalleled humanity, pacifies us with a platter of sea urchins, sardines and salmon pate. It looks beautiful. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks so much. I this doesn't look like food from tins. That's the blood-sucking lamprey. It's going to be hard for me to taste this and, this, not, this and not go, it sucks. It doesn't suck. No, it's good. It's got quite a meaty texture, but with a olivey aftertaste, almost like tapenade. OK. Wow. I've exhausted myself. I'm going to let you handle the rest of this. All right. This is the abalone. You look worried. I mean, I feel a bit sad, to I... be honest with okay. you. OK. You try it first. OK. It's slightly like liver. Oh. Here we go. You love this. That's the gift face. No? I'm getting angrier. <laughs> Oh, Bruce Banner. Is that polo shirt going to rip open? No? Nothing. Good. Come on. Can I just say? Go on. I'm having fun. That's the first time anyone has said that in my presence. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. Oh. How does that feel? That feels unprecedented. You want a hug as well? I'm OK for that. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you very much. This is great. Can we um, pretend to pay the bill? OK. And then we'll go. This is the Hospital de Buneca. The Dole Hospital. Oldest in the world, founded 1830. Get in the door. We start in the museum section, where repair dolls are on display. OK, so this is the outpatients unit. Yes. No child is asking for that doll. That Another doll... tiny, shrunken... Grandma to watch me. <laughs> that doll comes with, with this sound. Are you gonna make me stop? No. I'm waiting for the finale. <laughs> oh, that's a good big old crater babies. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, look. Adele. Look at all those Barbies caught in a net. In Whoa. There. Like their tuna. That is massively weird. That's not cool because a lot of those are endangered. Yeah. a bone with them. I thought I had the only Heidi Klum blonde ambition Barbie doll <laughs> left. But these mother funsters have got one. I can't believe it. That's a heck of a doll. Backstage in the hospital wing, broken dolls are admitted to the emergency ward for triage before moving on to theatre. A team of selfless surgeons use body parts from donor dolls. Okay. Sensing an opportunity to snag some complimentary medical care, I prompt Adam to unsheathe his jabber. Patient is a, a bounty hunter, <laughs> okay. uh, Jabber the Hutt, mm. and he's lost an arm. Yes. Okay, here. Okay. A porcelain arm? Yeah. Is this that you want? Porcelain's quite high risk. I don't know how hard you are in your mm. role play with jabber, but. Yeah, maybe with plastic, I don't know. Mm. Okay. I can't look. It's that. He's strong. Yeah. He's strong. I just want to see Stronger him. Stronger than you. Because you're not crying. I just want to see him be able to pull one of the slaves back towards him. Oh, with this new arm, with we'll slave the whole world. <laughs> OK, just let it dry first. Thank you. And don't take him into the bath for a fortnight. Well, thank you. Thanks this so has much. Been incredible. This has been, thank yeah, you guys. amazing. You okay. guys do wonderful work. This woman, she hadn't, she hadn't slept since Tuesday. They're very special people. She's been doing this 32 hours now, and they're trying to cut these people's pavements to leave. With time for but one last expedition, we scope out the Padrão dos Descubrimentos, which celebrates fellow travel men from the Portuguese Age of Discovery, led by its initiator, the leadingly named Henry the Navigator. He came from Portugal, uh -huh. and then, you know, just went to other bits of the world that you weren't have Portugal. Got a load of good facts. And under kept that going. Hat, this isn't Portugal. No. There's more. And then at the end of that, he discovered Nando's. Yeah. And then um, he founded Chicken Cottage. So he had quite a life. And then the rest of the people are former presenters of The One Show. Like many cities that aren't Norwich, Naples is hilly. So its public transport is fashioned to eviscerate inclines. Here we are. Buongiorno. Monte Santo Funicular. Yeah. The orange line, one of my favourites, the second of the cities. Four funicular lines. I'll be 100% honest with you though, Richard. Yes. Um, it's not as steep as I, I was hoping it would be. This makes me think they could have probably got away with a normal flat train and just yes. people doing that bit. You're but... saying this is an affectation? I don't know, I'm going as far as that. I'm just saying it's not as much funicular as okay. I thought it would be. I understand. See what I, see what I did. Yeah. If they see you riding around like a kind of casual guy like this, yes. they're going to they're gonna take you seriously. You just sort of do this, you know. But then you, look, see this guy, he's not going to hit me because he thinks I'm local because I'm so cool. I should have a cigarette and a, okay. and a coffee. Maybe should be flipping the pancake. Exactly. After a lap of the new castle, built when Naples was the capital of southern Italy, our tour ends at Hortensio, an area usually known for its fine views of the bay. Today the weather is not really good, but normally the Vesuvius mountain is just in front of us. And that could blow at any moment. Yes. Maybe we can just keep a hold of these Vespers for a little bit longer. You're and then... a coward, aren't you? I am frightened of volcanoes yeah. erupting. Yeah. Do you think you could beat one? It's not going to go. It's not likely at all. When I... I'm out of here on my Vespa, laughing, <laughs> while you're going, <gasps> we'll see. I... We'll see who's the fool. I... I make bread, so I have done it. Oh. I've done this bit before. It's, it's boring, but you know. Yeah, and you're probably a really sensitive lover as well. <laughs> it's just sickening. It's like looking at a young Paul Hollywood. Yeah. It was the arrival of the tomato from America that gave birth to the pizza. So our tutors insist we study this fruit in earnest. 
That's a heck of a tomato. In America, you, you get this kind of tomato? tomato? Probably just whatever you can get out of a can. Really? The rules stipulate a pizza base must be formed by hand, not exceed 350 millimetres in diameter, and be four millimetres thick at the centre. So can we call that one Mike? Oh. No, OK. Students who fail to get it exactly right are cruelly humiliated and forced to practice with a tea towel. I have to go in, have to go in that the corner. You go I go in that corner. corner. <laughs> I know. I went to school. Take the tea <laughs> towel and practice. <laughs> I went to school. Uh, OK, one. here we go. Sorry okay. about Richard. He's very I'm very good. OK. OK. Oh. okay. Here he goes. Eh? Perfect. That's yeah. all you are perfect. perfect. Did you hear that, Richard? Yeah, teacher's pet. No, I see. Perfect. Is that the pizza or the tea towel? I can't tell. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to learn. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to learn. According to tradition, there are only two true types of pizza, the margarita and the marinara, so toppings are ruthlessly regulated. He's, he's just taken over. He's not allowing me to build my confidence. Then our creations are consigned to the searing heat of a traditional wood-fired oven for a prox 90 sex. Do you like it? No, it's fine. Mm. A little pineapple wouldn't have hurt. You ever put pineapple on pizza? No. Sorry, that was okay. his idea. You eat pizza with pineapple? You've it's never not... had pineapple on pizza? No. Well, it seems like you are the student and I'm the master. No! <laughs> I realise these primitive people are opposed to progress, so we chip. Thank you, Thank you very much. Shout Thank you. you. Is it true everyone escaped from uh, Herculaneum? No, not true. Most of the people died by the sea. They first died from the gas. And afterwards, the mud slides covered them. Yeah. Until the eruption compromised everyone's comfort, Herculaneum was a great place to live with excellent local amenities. Public toilet. Yeah. I would have been all over that. Why? I know where all of them are. I have a tiny bladder. Homes were so small that Romans ate out most of the time. There were restaurants. What sort of food would be in here? But... Simple food, you know, they serve the bread, the cheese, olives, dried figs. Were people quite short because this is low? The average height of a Roman legionary was five feet three. This is wheelchair friendly. And this was an open air gym. That's probably where I'd be most of the time. Yes. Yeah. Are you good at Greco Roman fight? Yes, I am. Okay, will yeah. you try? Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Slowly touch. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, Wish. did I win that one? Okay. And then what happens? I push you. Oh, crumbs, it's very strong. Just push against. OK, I don't know whether that was orthodox rules. That was, inc that was impressive, well it done. It was. This is the kind of town I'd like to have lived in. Yeah, it would have suited Richard. No cars, so. you can eat out, you can work out, Yeah. and there's a public toilet. And you're oh, done. Okay. I, uh, I still have a few more remains to see, but I'll get back to you. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you very this has been Thank terrific. You. Take care. We appreciate right. it. See you. Bye-bye. Oh. Cheers. Bye. Bye. If you dreamed about flowers, so you put 81. What does the hand dream? Uh, it refers to the five fingers, okay. magical symbol for thousands of years. Mm. Oh, you've brought yeah, your I, own I, I've, uh, guys. I've so you're guy. prepared, I don't know anything. Well, um, this is... A squid inside a guitar. No interpretation required, really. But Not really. No, go it's, on. It, well, it, it actually is the uh, sexual congress. It means, you know, right. means, means intercourse. Really? Yep. Because to me, what this looks like is that squid's trying to get out. It got lost last in, night yes. and is going, yeah. I've ended up in a guitar is, again. You know, a lot of it is weird because, uh, you know, they say, they say dreams are actually, they're only like a fraction of a second long. But I know that isn't the case because no. I, in a dream I had quite recently, I bowled an egg. Right. Four minutes. Yes. Four minutes. That's... Okay. I'm not even going to fill in the last two numbers. You, I want you to do them. You want me to do them yes, for you? Yes, based on your new and frankly terrifying command of numerology. I'm going to pay, so if I win, yeah. 100%. If you win, 50%. Because I'm paying. Ah, oh, but I'm choosing. I'm, I, I've helped you yeah, a lot. I'm not going to stand up in court at all. Because as you can lot. see, I'm, the money's come from my pocket. Um, uh, what, how much do this? There's going to be a real language problem here. What, what, that's one euro. And if I don't win, do I get a refund? OK. Seems like we've just bought one. We've made quite heavy weather of that. Yeah. It's a bit sad about the weather. Are you? We should have come yesterday, like I said. We've been quite negative. You can reach the town of Capri by yet another funicular railway or in one of the island's hubristically roofless taxis. 
Is it safe driving around the island? Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. If we go slow, it's more panoramics. If you, if you go fast, you don't see nothing. Don't, we won't yeah. see anything, you're right. Yes, okay. Absolutely. We roll it forth in the skid marks of Grace Kelly, Jackie Kennedy and Mariah Carey. So what do you want to know about Capri, as it's pronounced locally? Well, that was the first thing I was anxious to know about. Where to put the syllabic well, emphasis? Well, I was, I was self-conscious that I was calling it Capri. Yes, and... from the Ford Capri, yeah. also named after Capri, I'm with a... the Caprese salad and right. the Capri pants. Yeah, and I've been getting it wrong, but it's Capri. Capri. Well, when we go home, are you going to call it Capri? I'm going to never speak of this again. Yeah, that's wise. Donkey. How much is this? 20. 20 euros. 20. You could afford five donkeys. OK. How much for these two depressed bunnies? Four, 40 euros. 40 each. So for my 100, Three? I can get this. About rubbish. OK. OK. Thank you very much. Non mi serve la busta. Yes. OK, OK. I feel, in a way, this is more compensation for your time... Thank you. ...than anything else. I can only... He's been very patient with you. He's been very patient. Like Egoa. Oh. oh, look at that. Oh, and the bow. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you soon. I'll bye see bye. you soon. Ciao.